Hi guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I'm so excited to share with you my first design team project products that I received from Creelys. I got these today, and I figured I would open them with you, and we can take a look together to see what I got. Now, I was able to do some shopping in the store, so for the most part, I know what I got, although Annalise did send some different stuff, so... Let's see. I'm excited to see all these products. So be sure to go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you want to see projects using these amazing dies. And let's see. <laughs> Cute. It says, have fun creating. Alrighty, so let's see. This is different. I, this is something she sent me. So this is a stencil. So if you're doing mixed media and stuff like that, that would be super cute. I love the background. I like it that it's not um, perfect squares and it's all jaggedy like. Really cute. And another stencil. Same thing. Make nice backgrounds. Ooh, and then some of the stamps. Also, again, Mandy does a Make It Monday on the Creoli's YouTube channel, and she shows how to use these products and gives you different ideas and stuff. I'll link down below the Creoli's YouTube channel, and you can check out all that. Really cute. And then here's another one. These are great for mixed media stuff for the backgrounds. Oh, how cute. These are like little banner tags. Look at that. Those are super cute. And I love that Creolese does. They do like the little inside. So you get the outside. Whoops, where am I? You get the outside cut out. And then they give you the one for the pattern paper and stuff. Really cute. And then here are some tag dies. So these you would cut out and fold in half. And these would be little tabs and stuff. Super pretty. And then some flower dies. I'm excited to use these. <clears throat> I want to make some three-dimensional flowers and stuff. I do have a project coming up using some of the dies, and I wanted to use this with it. I wasn't sure if it was going to make it in time because I'm doing a swap, and I have to send it out. So this is perfect timing because I didn't finish. And butterfly dies. Are they pretty? And then it even gives you the bodies, so you can punch out this part for the wings and stuff, and then you can punch out separate for the bodies. And these will make cute holes and stuff. So I figured maybe making some scrapbook pages or something, you can punch the holes in and like lace some ribbon or something. I don't know. I just thought this was a really neat extra embellishment type of an item. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then the same thing with this and background. So these got little holes in it. So I thought that that might add some decorative elements to the some pockets and flaps and stuff. And here's another one. This actually, this is neat. I thought, um, you know when you're making a binding system and you have to cut, angle cut? So this is already cut like that. And I thought that might be kind of a cool thing too. So we'll see what I do with that. I have a few ideas for this one. And some more butterflies. And then some leaves. These will go with the flowers. Really cute. And this also, again, gives you the inside and the outside die. So that's neat. Some more flowers. And then some more leaves. And then these were cute. These are fancy little photo corners. So I got two of those. So these are little fancy corners and stuff. So you can add. I thought that would add a neat little touch to the scrapbooks as well. And then another little star-like pointed flower. And then these are for little gift card holders and stuff. So when you punch it out, these parts here um, stick up. 
and you would glue like the center down and you can slide something down between that and then some nice dies for making some decorative elements in pockets and here is another one this makes a fancy pocket too with some nice edges so you would cut two of these out and stick them together and then some nice tag dies I wanted to go with something simple so I picked this one out because it's just simple corners kind of what most people are these are like a, what standard is um, on the dies and stuff that we have here so I thought that would be fun and then some fancy fancy cut pockets I like again I like how it's got the jagged edges and stuff so that'll be fun oh and I did get this awesome this is new this is just came out this was a just released out on um, Friday yesterday no today's Friday Friday for them in um, the Netherlands because they're ahead of us so this just came out on yesterday for them and this is part of their new planner series and this is cool I was hoping that I'd get this because you can actually make planner pages, but I thought it might be perfect for making little, um, kind of like pull out little books and stuff in the, in the scrapbooks and stuff. So it's kind of neat and it gives you, um, the outside die and the inside die. Anyway, so I hope that you like what you see here. I got all kinds of awesome goodies to play with. Um, maybe I'll punch out some of this and I'll add another video onto this one so you can kind of see what this stuff does. So you get an idea so you don't have to take and wait um, till I make something to see how it works. You can kind of check it out now. Anyway, look at all these goodies. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you, you know, at least for sending me all this amazing goodies. And I will be back with another video and we'll punch out some of this stuff. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and cut out a few of these so you can see what they look like. So this one right here is the cute little leaves and what they look like is, whoops, they're backwards. Still backwards. Okay, so that's what the cute little leaves look like. Let me zoom in so you can get a good look at stuff. So this is what the cute little leaves look like, nice and dainty. And these are the dies for that. And this is CLDD54, leaves nine. So that's what those look like. And I was kind of surprised when I started cutting some of this stuff out. It looked different than what I had anticipated. So this is some more leaves. This is CLDD56. And just take a peek at these. So these are cute. Just like that. I figured instead of like you guys waiting to see what I'm going to make and then what they look like once I make them, I figured I would go ahead and punch out some so you can check it out. Now this is um, circles. This is CL0101, and this just creates a nice, cute little you know, cut circles right here. So if you are having, like, say, a little pull-out pocket or a pretty flap or something, you could um, go ahead, round the corners, and then just decorate it. But I thought that that was really cute. So that one I'm excited to play with. I think there's some really neat opportunities for that one and I'll probably keep all the little pieces in them showing what they actually look like so I know myself I like to try to keep little bits of uh, sample cutouts so I know so this is a set of three flowers CL set 55 flowers 24 and aren't these pretty and you can go ahead, I can't wait to play with these so you can shape them and stuff. So exciting. And then if you want to keep them flat, there is a matching one. This is CLDD55. And this is a matching set. Dude, that 
coordinates with that one. So if you wanted to, you could line it up like this so you have like the layers. I thought that was really pretty. So if you wanted to keep a nice flat embellishment, you have the layers for that one. So those are neat. These away. And what else do we got? I didn't cut everything out because I didn't feel that it needed to be. Some of this stuff was pretty self-explanatory. So this is a set of little tags and this is CL set 54 and it gives you kind of like the inside and the outside of them or you could just use them on their own. So the little banners and these are super cute so you can kind of have either like two sizes or you can just layer them up if you wanted to do like a pattern paper in a Decor, you know, or plain cardstock in a pattern paper. You could do something like that. Super cute. Also, if you were making an album and you wanted to have like a swing tab flap, you could. These are cute little sizes to do something like that. They'd be cute too if you wanted to do little, you know, make a little banner. If you do cards or something, you could just kind of go it across the top. And then this was one here. I have two of these. This one was, I didn't realize, um, it's kind of cool because you get the inside and the outside effect of this. And these are cute little photo corners. And this one happens to be CLIO14, corners H. Oops. So it kind of gives you the positive and the negative. So you have one die that would cut out, um, this is this piece right here. And then you have another one that you, if you were cutting out on something, you could leave it. So for example, if you had your photo corners, you could just, you know, stick something like this so the different sizes so if you don't know what size photo not cute so that was kind of neat so that was a pleasant little surprise when I saw that played with that and cut it out I didn't realize what it did so that's neat so I like that you kind of get a positive and a negative and then this one here too if you did cut out different it does line perfectly up just like that. So if you wanted to make different colors, that would be pretty. And these ones here have all matching tags that actually match the same type of decorative element on those. And I already have had those, so um, those tags. So those are kind of neat. And then this one's the same. So let's show you. So again, the little corner piece and then the piece that would cut right into the cardstock. Really cute. This one is CLIO16 Corners J. And let's see. Oh, this one was neat too. This is the butterflies. This is CLDR46. Now, I didn't realize at the time that this is all one piece. Super pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. Super pretty butterflies. And that's all on one die. And if you wanted to, you could always cut them out. Oops, this looked better on the white. So you could always just cut them out from the big piece, but really pretty. I have a thing for butterflies anyway, so. And then, speaking of butterflies, 
I have these ones. So this one is CL Set 46 Butterflies 8. And then I've already played with these a little bit. I have something coming up that I'll be showing you. But I already played around. So these are fun. So these ones here, you have the th three different sizes. And then you also have the little butterfly bodies that can go on. And if you wanted to, you can also layer these up. I know you can't really see very well because they're the same color, but you can layer those up if you wanted to. And then you can just add the little body. Kind of like that. Anyway, that one was fun and I played with those. So I can't wait to show you what I have coming up with these. That'll be fun. Yeah, let's see what else. These little stars, these were pretty. So this is CLDD42. And these are neat. They're like little starburst flowers. And that's what those look like right there. Really pretty. I can't wait to really start playing with this stuff and make things. And what else do I have? Well, I think I'm getting... Okay, so this is um, a small bag. It's CLXTRA22. And these are the pieces. Now, I only cut out the pieces to make the bag because you have, like, the decorative elements like to cut like a pattern paper or a tag and then you have the extra little thing so what you do is you cut out two of these pieces and then it has the lines on them so you can score and fold them down and then you do the same thing with this side and then you would attach them so you touch the bottoms and then you go ahead so you have one side here one side there and you go ahead and you would attach it and then you make a cute little little bag. I thought that was kind of cute. And then you can put little tags in it and stuff. Or little photo mats, whatever you like to. I think it, it looks like it also would hold a gift card too. So you could always make something with a gift card. And let's see what else do I got. I think I only have two more to show you. Yeah. So this is cute. These are little tags. So if you are making little pockets or something. Um, this one is CL set 53 double tag. So when they cut out, they cut out like this. Can you see it? And then you just fold them in half and glue them on. Oops, get it opened up. So let's see. I get something to show you. It's just a scrap piece of paper. But what you would do is you could put it on like this and then fold it over. And then you have a nice little decorative element for a pull tab in a pocket. Anyway, these also, the way they're designed, they these match the tags too that you can get. So it's kind of nice that everything just coordinates with each other. And then one last thing to show you. This is part of the new collection for the planners and journals. So let me zoom out because this one's bigger. All right. So this one's neat. So this is part of the planners and journals. These are new. These just came out. And so this gives you all the pieces to go ahead and make your journals. But I cut out the bigger piece so it pops out your holes so you can put it into the little binder. And then I cut this piece out and they would just line up just like this. But I thought these would also make a cute little pull-out books. So if you make a mini album or something, you can kind of make a, you know, small little flip through photo journal thing. I don't know what the word is, but you might understand what I'm talking about. You just would put a bunch of them together and it could just be a little kind of a mini, mini, mini album. Anyway, so that was that. That's fun. I can't wait to play with that. 
Anyway, I think that's probably all that I have to show you. That's all that I cut out. The rest of it, I think you pretty much would understand what they are. Anyway, I hope you enjoy seeing my cute little Creelys design team haul. And be sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Follow me so you can get some nice tutorials and stuff that I will have coming up in the future. And until next time, guys, uh, happy crafting. And thank you, Annalise, for sending me all this amazing dyes. All right. Till next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.